Yo, what's good? Mike Norris here for the final video of this project that I did. Uh, it's three parts of for the baby shoe. I uh, told you guys I was going to update you guys on the final product of the portrait. And here it is. There he is. There's a little guy. He even got his arm going all in there. Let's see the shadow. It makes that official. Break your neck splat. There he is. Check out. That's where I painted it from. Everybody that hasn't seen part one and two, you st saw that I had started this beautiful portrait uh, from sketch. And uh, just sketching it out just from a sketch. And then now we have this painting on a shoe. And that's it. You know, that's how you do it. You know, for all the real artists out there that knows how to paint, do live painting or any type of portraits, you know, without a projector or stencil or any type of machinery or anything like that, they understand that this is a lot of work and it takes a lot of skill. I really dedicate this one. I dedicate this shoe to my old art teacher Mr. Crow when I was 12 years old told me that I was a painter I painted my first portrait or one of my first serious portraits when I was 12 years old and uh, he just told me I was a painter and from that point on I really started taking painting serious because I used to draw a whole lot when I was little but uh, from that point on, 12 years old to now, that's when I started painting more. I did paint before that, but I started painting more and challenging myself. And now I've, you know, I don't think I've ever painted a baby this big on a shoe before. But that's what the grandmother wanted. Um, and, you know, they should be happy with this. I'm, I'm pretty sure they will. I'll have to check that out. Yes pretty good pretty good you know I would say it's pretty good they will love that they will love that and um, oh yeah I just want to acknowledge all of the haters out there that's hating on me y'all know who y'all are from just saying oh well Mike well how do you do why do you do a shoe like that and you know uh, what what uh, possesses you to even paint like that? That's not a quote-unquote design or, you know, who does designs like this? Listen, I run a company called Break Your Neck Urban Customs. It's located on Melrose. Is where people come in and they tell us what they want. I do not have the luxury like a lot of these internet shoe customizers on being locked up in my room for a month and have the luxury of just doing a shoe. I don't I don't have that type of luxury. I wish I did. I would come up with just sick designs, but I don't. I have people that actually spend money for my shoes instead of just looking at them on a computer and just saying, oh, okay, well, how many hits can I get if putting this shoe up on a blog or whatever? Forget that, man. I'm going to stick to like DJ Quick said, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. So what are you doing it for if you're not making money? I mean, I love art. Art is my life. I take this really seriously. As you can see from my past artwork, I would love to do anything. You know, I, I, I would love to do anything that I want, you know, but a lot of times I can't. Sometimes customers give me the luxury on doing whatever I want, but... 90% of the time they say okay I want this here this here that there that there so what am I gonna say oh well no uh, you're that's against the rules of shoe customizing no what are you talking about we can do whatever we want to do but that's just the, all y'all haters I'm sorry about you know going in a tangent but y'all know who y'all are start hating on your boy stop hating on your boy not start stop hating on your boy and just just keep on congratulating, you know what I'm saying? Because if you can't do it, don't hate on it, you know what I'm saying? I, I just don't get it. 
you already know what it is. Mike Norris, peace out. We at another, another hot shoe. Let's go back to this portrait. Yep, another hot shoe. That looks like a photograph, folks. For all the people that's hating. Break your neck over customs. You already know what it is.